Hi guys, so from the last time I updated you guys on the coronavirus, it seems that the epidemic is getting worse. More countries have been infected. Um, countries are evacuating their citizens so fast out of China. And the number of infected victims worldwide and globally has gone from um, what it was from the last time I updated you guys to like three times the amount right now. So um, let's check out the current updates now and see what has been going on. 7,711 people in China are now confirmed to have the infection, with 1,032 cases in Hubei and the first confirmed patient reported in Tibet. The virus has now spread to every one of China's 31 provinces. The Chinese Football Association has said on Thursday that it will postpone all domestic games in 2020 because of the coronavirus. New Zealand, Singapore and Indonesia said they are all making efforts to evacuate their nationals from Wuhan. New Zealand plans to charter 300 seat aircraft to bring home New Zealanders and will offer any additional seats to nationals from the Pacific Islands and Australia. Singapore's foreign ministry said it planned to bring home 92 citizens from Wuhan on a special flight and Indonesia's foreign ministry said it was working to evacuate its nationals as soon as possible. IKEA said on Thursday that it has temporarily closed all its stores in China because of the coronavirus outbreak. In the UK, 130 people have been tested for coronavirus, with all results negative according to the latest update from the Department of Health and Social Care. British nationals are due to be repatriated from Wuhan on Thursday morning. However, with the city on lockdown, fears have been raised that many may not be able to reach the airport. According to the UK government, the arriving passengers are to be put in supported isolation for 14 days with all necessary medical attention. British Airways have suspended all direct flights from mainland China, following travel advice from the Foreign Office that warned against all but essential travel to the country due to coronavirus outbreak. Evacuation flights from Wuhan to Japan and the United States have taken place, repatriating about 200 Japanese and 200 U.S. nationals. In the U.S., the plane arrived at the Southern California military base after everyone on board passed the screening test in Anchorage. They have been asked to submit samples to test for the presence of the coronavirus, and everyone will remain isolated in their quarters for 72 hours while they are being monitored. Three people among the more than 200 Japanese evacuated from Wuhan have tested positive for the coronavirus, Japan's health ministry said on Thursday. The three people, two of whom did not have symptoms, arrived in Japan on Wednesday on the first evacuation flight from Wuhan city. Japan now has 11 confirmed cases of the coronavirus, including two people who appear to have contracted the infection without traveling to China. Sudan suspects that two of its citizens who returned to the country from China are infected with the new coronavirus. One of the pair, a man and a woman, had been in the region of Wuhan, the Chinese city at the center of the outbreak. They have been taken to the hospital and have been quarantined. Finland has announced its first case of coronavirus in a tourist from Wuhan who was visiting Lapland. The patient has been quarantined at Lapland Central Hospital in Rovaniemi. After developing symptoms and seeking medical help, about 15 people may have been exposed to the infection. A fourth case of coronavirus has been confirmed in France. According to details released at the press conference on Tuesday, the man was in intensive care unit at the Paris hospital. France was the first European country to confirm coronavirus, with three confirmed diagnoses announced since last Friday. This virus may not be as deadly as SARS, but it is spreading faster than SARS. Because of this, the World Health Organization Committee will meet on Thursday, the third time in a week, to evaluate whether the new coronavirus spreading from China constitutes an international emergency. But while we still await and we are still allowing the authorities to do their jobs and um, make sure everybody is safe, please guys stay at the lot. If you notice any symptoms or anything that um, looks unusual or feels unusual, please submit yourself to a proper medical um, facility so that they will take a look at you and know what to do, alright? Until the next time, my name is Kingsley. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will keep updating you on whatever goes on, alright? So I'll catch you again in the next one.